welcome to week 26. I'm, I'm sure you can't tell that I'm filming two weeks in a row. Um, like I've totally not ever done before, but long story short, um, it's, I just, hey. Of course, now that I'm talking on camera, he's gotta go chase the cat again. Pets are so much fun. So I kind of alluded to this in the last video, but it's been super hard for me to like sit down and film. Um, because this last week and kind of bleeding into week 27, um, I have been exhausted um, for a number of different reasons, but um, mainly mainly work related and pregnancy related. So like the combination, um, but it's just, it's just been, it's been a week and a half. I tell you what. So um, let's, let's get into all that fun stuff. Um, so cravings, I've actually been having some cravings. It's kind of, it's not like wake my husband up in the middle of the night type of cravings. Um, but just like, you know, this sounds really good. And I've noticed that baby has been moving a lot with it too. So, um, it's, it's Cheez-Its, but specifically the hot and spicy kind. <laughs> so I know you're supposed to like limit your spicy when you're pregnant. Um, but I'm from Texas and I've always liked really hot and spicy foods. Uh, so really, it's really, it's basically just a normal thing for me with just like a little extra spice. So doesn't make a big difference. I'm not too worried about it. Um, but I've been really, really into having those. Um, I did have to send my husband though on, sorry, a cat just knocked it. Did you guys stop? I swear, I open up the camera and they're like, I gotta bother you. Anyway, uh, so I actually did have to send my husband on a pregnancy uh, late night run. Um, I, I did get sick one night, um, basically had no, nothing in my stomach. Um, so I sent him out to get some cheese sticks so that I could have something. Um, and there wasn't really a craving. I just know I can keep cheese sticks down. So, um, so I did, I finally had to send them out. Um, it was like 10 o'clock at night, so I wouldn't call that a middle of the night run, but still a late night pregnancy trip for my husband. Sorry. <laughs> um, and that's really the only thing though. Um, I, I, I do this in my normal life without being pregnant, but like, I know for lunch, I've kind of gotten stuck on like, I've been eating out, but I've, I've been eating out, but I've also like not been ordering near as much as I normally would. Uh, so I, I've been, I've been doing a lot of burgers and not finishing it. <laughs> um, and just like ordering one burger and just not finishing it. And I wouldn't call that a craving just because I know I'll do that in my normal life of just like, Hey, I'm going to just do this. I'll just do quesadillas for this week and the next week and just not even think about it. But I guess I, maybe it counts. I don't know. Okay. Symptoms. So, um, I've been waking up feeling really nauseous. Um, usually I don't get sick, but, um, I have been waking up feeling nauseous, which has been hard. Um, because it's not fun. Nobody wants to go back to that. Um, and I know here at week 26, we're at the end of second trimester. So I'm like, don't, I hope that doesn't mean I'm going to be sick in my third trimester. I really don't want to be. So that would really stink, but yeah, getting, getting nauseous again. Um, and then I've also been having a lot of back problems. Um, I actually had to take off a day of work um, because right now I work in an infant room, which generally is okay. If I'm just sitting rocking teeny tiny babies, then that's fine. But as soon as it's a situation where I have to bend and pick up babies from the floor, it starts getting really hard on my body. So that's not fun. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping that is gonna change at some point. If it doesn't, it's something I'm gonna have to talk with my management about. Um, because at some point I can't, I feel, I feel bad continuing to tell my coworkers like I can't do this or I can't do that. And like, that's not fair to them. 
So we'll see how that goes. Um, but I did have to take a day off and just sit there with a heating pad. Um, I've been asking my husband for more back rubs, um, especially lower back, because that's where all my bending is and it hurts and all that fun stuff. Um, which I, now that's a, that's definitely a symptom of pregnancy. That stinks. Um, he's still moving. Really, he's been pretty active. Um, my doctor, I didn't mention this in the last video, but my doctor gave me, or I guess it was the nurse practitioner, <laughs> gave me a number that I've kind of been like roughly keeping track of, which is you should feel and move about twice a day and you should feel and move about five times in half an hour, um, which he's he, without, oh, and that's if you haven't felt him move, you should take caffeine or sugar and you should be able to count five kicks in half an hour, otherwise give them a call. That, that's like the whole spiel. Um, without caffeine or sugar, um, I've been keeping track of that anyway, very loosely. Um, a lot of times I'll feel him not kick so much as like moving around. Um, and he kind of gets that rough five in half an hour, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, but it's just kind of, the first couple days after my appointment, I was really like, okay, am I feeling him? Um, I'm a little less on top of it now, just in terms of being really, really strict about that. But um, mostly I've been feeling him throughout the whole day. So as long as I'm feeling him, I feel pretty good. So that's, that's it for symptoms, I think. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm still having the occasional um, night of insomnia, which really stinks because I really need my sleep. Um, and I'm my work schedule's kind of got me all messed up. So, uh, which is work, not pregnancy, but it doesn't help pregnancy. <laughs> um, I think I think that's pretty much it um, in terms of symptoms. Uh, haven't been feeling anything super, super strong other than him kicking me and the nausea in the morning and then my back. But my back is pregnant or work because of pregnancy issues. So that's it. Um, big things for this week. Really nothing. Like we're not, we don't have any appointments or anything like that. Um, Week 27, I do have a an appointment, a cardiologist appointment, or I guess it'd be week 28 by the time I record it. Um, but we do have the dresser, and we need to put that together. I'm getting to the point where, so so here's here's kind of where my head's at. Um, I really want to be nesting, <laughs> really really bad, and uh, when I took off the day of work because of my back I did some very basic things of just like things around the house to try to like clean it up a bit um but I really like I'm at that point where in my head I'm like I want to be nesting I want to be getting the house ready for baby um you know I look around the front room here right now and I'm like there is so much junk that we just need to get up off the floor, we need to put things away, and it's, I'm like itching to do it. But, um, oh, I guess this is a symptom, um, because I keep coming home exhausted and falling asleep on the couch most nights, um, kind of like I was doing in my first trimester, which I'm really hoping is not a long-term thing, and hopefully it's just a work got stressful thing. Um, because I keep doing that, I just, I, I work all day. I mean, I literally wake up and about half an hour later or like 45 minutes later, I'm at work. And so I have like 20 minutes of getting ready and then 20, 25 minutes of getting to work. I'm at work all day. And then depending on when we get down to ratio, which for daycare means that uh, you have to be in ratio in terms of kids. My room with infants means you have to have at least one teacher per every four kids, um, which I think is actually a statewide 
thing and not a daycare thing. But anyway, um, once we get down to that point, then I come home, which could mean anything from today where I got to leave at 3.30 because we didn't have a lot of babies there today. Or it could be like Tuesday where I'm at work until 5.30, which is half an hour later than I'm supposed to be. Um, and then I start getting really stressed. So it's really tough right now. Um, and I, I really don't like the swingy schedule. I'd really like to have a very consistent schedule. But that's not going to happen um, until they get me out of that infant room, which I'm hoping will be soon. But management has not talked to me about this, and it will probably wait. It'll probably be me having to talk to management. Point being, though, I come home. Most of the time I come home and I just sleep. Um, or, you know, there's just the general getting stuff done around the house, um, like doing laundry so I have work clothes in the morning. Um, and just trying to decompress from the day because I think everyone should have a chance to do that. Um, and I realize once you actually have kids, things are different. Um, but you know, I don't know. I just, with, with my job, I, I really need to co decompress. Um, and then we have, and then we have dinner and I go to bed. I try to go to bed early so that I actually sleep because otherwise I might have insomnia and I may not sleep. So it's just, you know, during the week, it's so hard to do anything. Um, and then by the time we get to the weekends, our weekends have been so messed up because of visiting people or people coming and seeing us or Father's Day where we went and saw my in-laws or, yeah, there's just like, and none of these are bad things. It just means I'm tired. <laughs> I am really tired. I, I talk about this, I've talked about this with my husband where being pregnant is so frustrating because I want to be doing things and consciously I feel like I'm not doing anything because consciously I'm like, I'm just sitting here. So why am I exhausted? But it's because unconsciously I'm making a baby <laughs> and it's so hard right now. I just, I really, I want to be doing things. I want to be active. I want to be getting things ready for our son. And I just feel like I can't. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, my, my thoughts on when I'm planning on leaving my work are really dependent on, um, a lot of things, um, but really I'm just waiting to see if they even would offer me maternity leave at this point, which is looking like a pretty strong no, which is super frustrating coming from a daycare company where you would think it'd be very family oriented considering you're taking care of other people's families. But that's its own story and I'm not gonna slander my company or other daycare companies on this thing because that's not my place and I'm still employed by them so maybe that'll be a video and a topic for another day when I'm gone <laughs> um, but right now it's just it's really frustrating because I there's a part of me that would like to continue working but if they are not gonna offer me anything and including no discount for bringing my son to be watched there um, which would make me basically break even <laughs> between working and paying for him to be there. It's not worth it, um, to me at least. So we're waiting on a couple things, but right now I'm mostly just trying to plan when I am leaving. Um, so hopefully I'll finally be able to start doing things once I leave, which will probably be in August sometime. Um, and I'll be able to finally get stuff done. And I'm looking forward to that because I'm very anxious, I'm very antsy to have my days so that I can make ourselves and our house ready, or I guess make ourselves as ready as possible, but more importantly, make our house ready and the nursery ready and, and just get our life together, <laughs> so. Oh, I know that was a very long rant there at the end, which is because there's a lot of stuff going on in terms of job and, you know, I'm 
could make an entire video on that and maybe I will sometime but right now I just I'm ready to be done so that I can focus on my family and not other people's families so that's it though for now oh and I'm looking forward to not hurting constantly that's a big one um but that's it uh that's it for week 26 I know that last part really wasn't or anything but thank you so much if you made it to the end thank you for watching uh thank you for tuning into my pregnancy journey and i will be back for week 27 of pregnancy to update you guys but thank you so much thank you so 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 much for tuning in congratulations if you found out you are pregnant or if you've brought any new squishes into the world i will talk to you guys next week bye